come from. He ran a couple of nice races on the Rose Hill and Kensington track, but then he ran in the Dubbo Cup and ran seventh and then returned with a double victory. So he's on an upward curve and sometimes it's very hard to judge where they're going to get to. And Turretra expresses a back motor. Quickly, what did you like about him today? He just looked really healthy in the coat and lovely loose walk. He's not a horse that's super flashy, but he's got a great turn of speed. I've seen him run some great sectionals and for him to look as fit and forward in condition as he did today with the speed on on paper, I think he's going to run very well. Well, on the Paramutual, he's $5.60 a place and $20.60 a win. So, th well, there's an omen. <laughs> There's an omen for sure. He did look well as he went into the stall. So, got three to load. We've got a lot of 1,500-metre races or had them over the trip, haven't we? The Far Lap and, of course, the Coolmore Classic and now this one named after an all-time great of the 1930s in Ajax. Here's Darren Flinder. We're in front of Democracy Manifest and the light is on. Ready to go. They're off and racing now. And flopping out the back was Territory Express, and more victorious began sharply. So did Robusto. Palmetto settles in third as Fearson starting to muster after a fair start. They're followed by Detonator Jack Handy on the inside of Glory Days, and Just Folk caught out deep. Further back to He's a Shocker, then Well Wall from Democracy Manifest, Caesar's Palace, Bold Mac. Territory Express has gone down to the rails last of all. Racing up into the first turn, a good duel here at More Victorious and Fearson. And we saw last time Fearson doesn't mind a dog fight in the lead, but a more victorious is going to declare him on. A more victorious wants the front, a half in front to Fearson, and this is a good tempo. Robusto third, followed by Palmetto on the outside, a detonator jack, then just folk. Well, we'll cast a bit deep from He's a Shocker, then Glory Days, Territory Express improving ground, followed then by Caesar's Palace, Democracy Manifest is second last. Bold Max sees them all, racing to the turn, Fearson and a more victorious. They've really been duelling in the lead. Robusto has had a great camp behind them. Then Detonator Jack running on. Further back to Palmetto and Just Folk at the 350. And more victories beat off Fierce. And, but Robusto's closing in. Detonator Jack's closing in on the inside. Detonator Jack and Robusto. Here's Democracy Manifest winding up on the outside. It's Detonator Jack. Democracy Manifest and Territory Express late. Democracy Manifest. Territory Express. They hit it. All tight. Tight Territory Express lunging at Democracy Manifest. Detonator Jack third, followed by Bold Mac, Just Folk, Robusto. Then came He's a Shocker, a more victorious Glory Days, Palmetto, Fierce and Well Ball in Caesar's Palace. Photo. It is a photo. I think Democracy Manifest has just held out Lizzie's pick from the yard. It was a thriller. J Mac to get two on the bounce, Chris to get three for the day. That to play out. For much of the top of the straight, Detonator Jack looked the one. He loomed. He ran well. Again, a, just a thrilling finish. Democracy Manifest had all the steam out. There's Lizzie's pick of the yard, the 14, at big, big odds. Has its nose in front. They hit it. They hit it. They hit it. You would think that J-Mac, and yes, J-Mac has got there. 560 to the place, Lizzie. <laughs> Bruce, there's no, no consolation. Imagine how Zach Lloyd feels. He's run third to him in a group one. He's gone out and tried to beat him again. He thought he was home, and there he goes, nabs him on the line. But look, he's been racing really well, Democracy Manifest. He's a horse that ran well first up, but he needs everything to go his way. And the way that he wound up and hit the line, he's a clear Doncaster contender as well. But how strong is the Donny going to be? We spoke about it prior to the race, but to see him improve and the way that he's gone through his grades from last preparation to this prep, I suppose it was meant to be. Oh boy, oh boy. Chris Waller having such a great day. A third winner for him. Dare I ask Chris after a great day for the stable, uh, what's on the plate? What's on for dinner tonight? Some succulent Chinese <laughs> at the Pink concert, believe it or not. Oh, fantastic stuff. Hey, great day for the stable. He's really pinned his ears back. He wants